All right, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and such, and this is Simplex 4010 Test 34, a denunciator panel. Why is that? Because there's a new 4010 here. As you can see, it doesn't have that uh, fire suppression label up there. And if you look down on the door, there's actually a built-in 24 IO card that can do point-by-point -point annunciation. Annunciation, ugh, if I can talk. So you can actually see I have every one of my points listed here, including trouble points. You can actually switch these between red and amber LEDs. And so I have alarm status for every single one of my points, as well as trouble statuses for my uh, smoke detector. So you'll be uh, seeing that go off today during tests. And it's actually the same board from my old Ford 10, which is actually sitting over there. Um, same board in here because the one that came with the panel had a defective battery charger, so it had a trouble that would never clear. So I slapped the old board in here in a new can that had the 24 IO card, which is uh, under the sheet. And you actually see there's a test button here to run a lamp test. And so you can actually see the uh, LEDs going off there to uh, do point by point enunciation, which is kind of cool. Uh, so you'll be uh, seeing that go off today. I also got a couple other goodies over here. We actually have a Simplex 2099-9103 break glass pull station. And this is the kind that holds the glass in with the little clip at the bottom, not with the complicated springs and pins and the plate that falls forward. And now it's just a hammer and a little clip to hold in the piece of glass. And then going up here, we have one of my all time favorites, a Simplex 4903-9431 uh, four wired true alert orange strobe. So be flashing at 15 candela and uh, March time horn, which is my favorite coating on these. Same over here, but in white. And then over here under the stopper, and I do have the uh, sounder on the stopper on, is a Kitta 84 001 I believe I'll have to double check that. Uh, dual action key locking pole station. So we'll be doing that today with the uh, sounder on. We will be uh, solo testing this detector today. And uh, let's go over here. We have the Faraday uh, 10123-1 single action pull station with the uh, tool lock on the side. We'll be pulling that today. And then up here we have a Simplex 4906-9101 multi candela remote strobe and this will be flashing at 75 candela in sync with the rest and then everything over here by the enunciator is uh still the same we might be doing some stuff with that today as well but first i say we break some glass and i'm actually going to instead of swinging the hammer at it i'm just gonna hit it with my fist and see if that uh breaks it because we all know that one video the first time i tried to break a break glass pull station so uh here we go let's do it I don't, I don't really know what else to do. Oops! <laughs> That's incredibly awkward and kind of hilarious. actually reset the notifier panel since uh, that's apparently a thing. Have that uh, national time and signal 620M pull station kind of go off on its own. Doesn't help I don't have a brake rod in there. So it's kind of uh, loosey goosey in there. Go ahead and reset that. That's the wrong panel. Not the panel we're trying to activate. <laughs> I don't know really how else to break this. I don't want to do it with my fizz. I don't want to get cut up. There we go. All right, so I didn't mean to uh, stop that so abruptly, but uh, I wanted to get the vacuum out because all I was doing was stopping on glass that whole time and it hurt really bad. Um, I had a trash can underneath, but it didn't really catch any of it. 
So you can actually see on the uh, graphic enunciator, I guess not graphic enunciator, but the enunciator on the front of the panel is lighting up with M18 panel pull station, which this is node 1.8 and it's red for alarm. And actually when it's an unacknowledged, it's flashing. And then once it becomes acknowledged, it uh, goes steady. So we can go ahead and reset that. And I don't have any more glass for this. Oh, I think I swept up the little, uh, little plastic piece that holds in the glass. Well, I'll have to go through that. Oh no, there it is. It's in there. That's good. Okay. So we can go ahead and uh, reset the panel. See all my strobes are uh, flashing in sync. I have my uh, visual circuit on uh, sync and then my audible circuit on fast march. All right, so we'll let that reset. Then we'll go pull the uh, kid a pull station. There we go. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull the cater pull station with the uh, sounder on the stopper. So in three, two, one. Go ahead and uh, reset the Kittipole station. So we are going to have to make the uh, stopper go again. Oh, why is this being so stubborn? Okay, that sounds so. That was a lot of noise. So you can see the alarm is still unacknowledged. So the uh, LED for node 1.3 hallway pull station is flashing, which is that one over there. That was so loud and poorly done. So let's acknowledge that and then go ahead and put a system reset in the panel. And so actually, if you do something like, uh, you know, put it in trouble so we take a detector hat off, you'll actually see so there goes, since this is a dual heat and smoke, it's on two separate points. So my heat went in trouble first, and you'll see my smoke. So those are in trouble. Uh, if I put the detector back up there, they will clear automatically. All right, everything is reset. Let's go do the uh, Faraday pull. So in three, two, one. So we'll go ahead and do a uh, system silence from the enunciator. We can go ahead and reset the uh, Faraday pole. We'll uh, little lock on the bit side, not the back. Slide the front back up, and this might re-alarm as I'm closing it. Yep, that's what I thought. Go ahead and put a system silence and a system reset. I hope it caught my system reset. It did. All right, so uh, yeah, re-alarm because as I'm putting it on, it opened back up a bit, which uh, put the point back into alarm, and this does have re-alarm by point, so it uh, went back into alarm. And you can see our uh, fancy LED 
for node 1.2, closet pull station is on. So go ahead and wait, and there's our system reset. So go ahead and open back up the fire door. And then we can smoke saber test the detector up there. So we've got our saber, and let's do it. Hoping that should be enough. Go ahead and acknowledge that. Got a system reset and our LED is on. All of our strobes are just clicking away. And then you know what, I think we'll do the uh, key test next. Go ahead and do that. Alarms present, system re, oh. Never cleared out the head. Yeah, I know. Okay. You know, well, we got it, an alarm. Let's go ahead and do the uh, key test station if I can find my, uh, my little simplex A key. Okay. Oop, or I can just drop my whole key ring. That works too. All right, in three, two, one. All right, so you can see now we have two alarms in the system. We have the panel key test station and the uh, panel smoke. All right. And uh, you might notice that the uh, LED on this is flickering like every second or so. It was evident before I could see. Um, this is, all the LEDs are also on my NAC3, which I have set up as a visual circuit. So my visual circuit is running the sync, which is uh, turning itself off every strobe pulse to trigger all the true alarms to uh, True alerts, sorry, to do their uh, strobe pattern. So that's why that that's not, you know, current draw or something. That's actually the panel is coding that. So I think to end this, we are going to hit the stopper station. So thank you guys for watching. And as always, have a wonderful day.